The summer is still in full swing and also with the new diapers it continues. Kiddo has released another new diaper. Who has seen the last episode 6 of Diaper News? You know the brand at the latest from there, when I introduced the Lil Soaker. Just a few weeks later, Diaper Minister's own brand released the Teddy's Ultra. Even though this has happened quite quickly, the launch of this new diaper seems well thought out. Teddy's Ultra is the first with a textile-like surface. Apparently, the company wants to make its own products as widely available as possible. It was already the case with previous kiddo diapers that each had a special feature, one adhesive per side, Velcro and so on. All were plastic film on the outside, which according to a poll on my channel, the vast majority of you prefer. The Teddy's Ultra stands out from many other ABDL diapers in two ways. Firstly because of the textile-like outer material, but also because of the adhesives. There is only one adhesive per side, which is much wider for this, instead of the usual two that had prevailed with a few exceptions. One of these is the Junior Plus from Kiddo. It relies on foil, so that fans of one adhesive per side can now choose between the Junior Plus with foil or, for those who prefer cotton, the Teddy's Ultra. Already the package is colorfully printed, on the front is a large teddy bear in a rainy landscape. The diaper itself also features a teddy wearing a raincoat while surrounded by raining clouds. The fact that this diaper focuses on classic teddy bears as the main motif should certainly come as no surprise given the name. What I find interesting is that they tied it into a context that fits diapers, the teddy bear with the umbrella is supposed to protect the little ducks from the rain. Symbolically, the teddy is the diaper that protects you as the wearer from wet accidents. When you use it, it rains in the diaper, as the motif already suggests, that's how I would interpret it. You can see a similar story with the Lil Soaker. If there is a fire, the fire department extinguishes the fire with water. Since the fire department is symbolically the diaper here, it is flooded and you extinguish the fire with it. Especially those of you who place a lot of value on the design, it should certainly like it when not just any motifs are printed, but they fit into an overall concept and have been thought through more precisely. Feel free to write in the comments what you think about it. The diaper is offered in sizes M and L, whose waist circumference is identical to the others from the Kiddo series. It is said to offer 6,000 milliliters of absorbency. According to our experience, these figures are all laboratory values, regardless of the manufacturer. Only a practical test can show how much it can really hold. Even that is not a 100% accurate reading, but a realistic estimate so you know what to expect approximately. The diaper was only released in mid-August and is priced at €32.90 per pack of 10, so a single one costs €3.29. In comparison with the Lil Soaker significantly more expensive, there the 10-pack costs 10 euros less, for a diaper you have to pay there only 2 euros and 39 cents. In direct comparison, this is expensive, but the market for ABDL diapers with cotton as the outer material has always been a niche. I had made a survey among you once with a pretty clear result that the vast majority of you prefer diapers with foil outside. Cotton diapers are therefore only bought by a small minority, which means that production tends to be more expensive. The manufacturer produces smaller quantities, pays more expensive prices per piece and may have to factor in even higher storage costs. It is therefore understandable that cotton diapers are a good deal more expensive than comparable ones made of foil due to the taste of the majority. What is debatable, however, is how high this surcharge has to be. Is almost 4 euros per piece necessary, as with the Little Kings? Or can the Teddy's Ultra be a less expensive, but comparable alternative? Technically, all that can be said from the data is that the Little Kings is advertised as having a suction capacity of 7,500 milliliters, so theoretically 1,500 milliliters more. And there are two glues per side instead of one. Since these measurements are usually done in the lab, they don't say much. It may be, the suction capacity of the Little Kings is only slightly higher or even identical in practice. These numbers are only useful as an approximate classification. You cannot conclude from this that you can wet 1.5 liters more into the Abu Little Kings. At this point, we cannot clarify how good the diaper is in everyday use. This must be shown in a practical test, which, in addition to the absorbency, can also look at how comfortably it sits, how the outer material feels, and other things that are also important. Especially because there is only one adhesive on each side, it will be exciting to see whether the fit remains guaranteed. Visually, it should certainly please the Pampers fans among you, as such children's diapers had never needed a second adhesive due to the size. Along with the Junior Plus, these diapers look similar to children's diapers in that respect. 
the Little Kings thus got another competitor, following the Tykables Animus featured in Diaper News 4. Since the prices of cotton diapers are already becoming much more reasonable, there will soon be practical tests from this direction. I'm excited to see how these diapers have turned out. My first adult diaper was cotton a few years ago. However, a medical one and I was disappointed with it. I have been very happy with some foil ABDL diapers though. However, I am interested to see what modern ABDL diapers with cotton are like these days. After all, technology is evolving and the quality should be better in ABDL. What do you think of the Teddy's Ultra? Stay dry until the next video.